I'm Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw different types of tornadoes and how they are formed. Come all the way down here on this bottom left corner and we're just going to draw a wavy, wavy line up to right about there. Starting over here on the left, we're going to put a dot and from that dot we're going to draw spirals but we're going to keep them going straight up. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going keep going. When it's straight up like this, this is called a column well, uh, tornado. Next to that, right about here, let's put a dot. And this time we're going to do spirals getting smaller and bigger and bigger. Keep going up, up, up. And this which is like a cone, is a cone tornado. Now come all the way over here to getting towards the right and we're just going to start and we're just going to put a wavy line up, wavy line over, wavy line down. Inside, we're going to start right about here and do a big loop-de-loop -loop up, keep going, Spiral it, keep going, and leave it that open. This is called a wedge tornado. Now you can tell the column right here goes straight up. The cone is the type that we're used to, but the wedge is a wide span of air. Starting over here, we're going to put a dot. And we're going to draw a curve line, curve line, curve line, curve line, curve line, curve line, connect. Then we're going to do an overlap. Curve line, curve line, curve line, curve line, connect. Right here we're going to go zigzag, zigzag, zigzag down. Now bring it up. Zigzag, zigzag, connect. Right next to it zigzag zigzag down bring it up zigzag zigzag connect in order to have a tornado you need a thunder storm because that thunder storm curve line up connect curve line up connect curve line up connect gives you rain Curve line up connect, curve line up connect, which forms cold air. So we're going to draw straight line triangle, and this will be the cold air going down. And then we're going to draw a triangle straight line because this is the warm air coming up off of the Earth's surface. It's that combination of cold air and warm air that starts the tornado and the air going into those spinning columns of air. So we're going to draw a straight line down, triangle, triangle, straight line down. Let's add some more curved lines connect because that water is important, curved line curve line, curve line, connect. Alright, so we have a column tornado, a cone tornado, and a wedge tornado. Underneath, to show the movement of the air, we're just going to draw a wavy line, triangle, wavy line, triangle, down here wavy line, triangle because all of these tornadoes are extreme, unpredictable, unpredictable 
weather. They come on you fast. All right, let's see how we're gonna color this in. Okay, the first thing we're gonna do is just take our blue and color in all of the rain, which can also be at points, it can also be hail in these storms because the thunderstorm is how everything starts. So we're gonna color these all in blue. Then we are going to take our reds and we're going to color in all the arrows because once you start getting that cold air hitting the warm air all at one time, it starts the movement into making those funnels. Come down here, color these all in red and these all in red. Once you've done that, take your yellow, color in these spaces yellow, and then take a gray. And we're going to have this color simulate that blast of air. And just follow your black lines. Now the wedge, because it's big, it can be miles across. Go ahead and color in this whole space with the gray. All right, let's see what this looks like all colored in. Okay, so a tornado is a fast spinning column of air that stretches all the way from the thunderstorm cloud in the sky down to the Earth's surface. It's the cold air pushing up against the warm air and that's what creates these columns. Rotating the air from the thunderstorm. Extreme unpredictable weather. Okay, bye bye.